For CISMEME, Infection Control Specialists. The reprocessing and high quality maintenance of an endoscope is a critical procedure that requires a meticulous step by step approach by trained health professionals. Strict safety measures must be followed to protect all staff involved in the cleaning and disinfection process, avoiding any splashes, since, once the medical procedure has been completed, the endoscope and its accessories are considered contaminated material. At the end of the procedure, the use of enzymatic wipes is recommended. Use enzyme med wipes to drag organic remains from the surface of the insertion tube. Wipe the endoscope from base to tip. In order to eliminate any organic residue from the endoscope channels and ensure they are clear of obstructions, aspirate the enzymatic detergent solution Enzyme Med 4. Then operate the air water valve. The endoscope and any reusable accessories should be transported wrapped in an instrument tray to avoid contamination and damage. Before immersing the endoscope, test for leaks by connecting the smart test. This guarantees the endoscope is water and airtight and in case of leakage, alerts the staff while keeping the endoscope under pressure. In case of a leakage, fluid could enter and contaminate the endoscope, compromising the cleaning and disinfection process. It is essential to keep the endoscope pressurised during reprocessing. First remove the valves. Then clear the channels using the cleaning brushes. Finally, use a sponge. This step-by-step -step procedure will prevent the formation of biofilm which will allow us to achieve a higher level of disinfection. Plug all the attachments of the connection set in order to circulate the enzymatic solution through the channels. Completely immerse the endoscope in the solution. Depending on the degree of soiling and the chosen concentration of the enzymatic detergent, the recommended exposure time may vary, although it should never be less than 5 minutes. Rinsing removes the remains of enzymatic solution. Residue water is then flushed from channels to avoid diluting the disinfectant. Submerge the endoscope in NDP Med Concentrated Plus. And recirculate the disinfectant solution for the recommended time period. Thoroughly rinse the exterior and the interior of channels to eliminate the remains of the disinfectant solution. This will avoid possible lesions on the mucous membrane. Dry the endoscope meticulously, both externally and internally. A drying air compressor can be used to facilitate the process, as long as it does not exceed 20 psi or 5 bar. Once completely dry, remove the pressure from the endoscope. Lubricate the valves. Place it in a clean tray for transportation and store it to keep it available for its next use. This video has been created for training purposes. Manual reprocessing may incorporate accessories that can facilitate specific steps such as leak tests, peristaltic pumps and pressure washers among other items.